switching my gender identity to panda <laughs> because I want everybody to know that I'm not racist. <laughs> and I can have sex with panda. <laughs> Good morning. How is your Monday so far? I know it's Monday. I, hey, the weekend's over. Time to get up. Time to move along this week, weekly path that we always try to get onto that we hate so much. But it's okay, even though the weekend's over and we hopefully we're partying and drinking some margaritas, then, um, you know, now we can still have a little bit of fun before we gotta go off to work and send ourselves down this, this path. Do not worry, it's all cool. Hey, can you believe it's like the last day of January? As a month, January is kind of like the Monday of the year, right? Because it's the first month. December of last year, and there's all the holidays and the weekends and the partying and the days off, and you get drunk and you get fat, and then you wake up to January 1st, and um, it's, it's like a Monday, except all month. Well, January is just about over, it will be tomorrow. So our Monday of the year, is over that means we got to get ourselves up and start walking down this path and pushing our way down it because it's not just one month folks we have an entire life to fuck up so i turned on my fucking switch so i could clean off the window right i didn't i was trying to figure out why the hell it wasn't working <laughs> oh well <laughs> That is, that's the way Monday works, isn't it? Nothing seems to work, nothing's going right, you don't understand it, you're sitting there, it's like, why can't, Why is my coffee maker not making the coffee? I don't understand. And you realize that it's not the coffee maker and it's your dog and you're just punching it and you're like, oh, that's that's why. That's just, that's Monday, that's just Monday. It's the way they are. Uh, oh, okay. Right, no that's way that's my video. Man. I, I ate your food for two years. Oh, <laughs> oh damn. Damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I hope, I hope that was an ex-girlfriend because if it wasn't, it's going to be soon. You know, it's it's not really, it's not just him. I mean, that was a good comeback. He's like, well, hey, took food for two years and walks off. It's the guy in red, the guy standing behind him He's doing the worst because he's the one standing there going, Oh, damn! Shoo! He's making much bigger deal. This guy. I, I ate your food for two years. This guy. Oh. <laughs> damn! Good God! Damn! <laughs> that guy's making it so much. I want that guy. I want to, like, hire a professional that guy i just want that i want that dude in red to always stand behind me and somebody will come up and say you're stupid and i'll say well you're stupid too and dude will just go right into it damn oh god just make everything i say sound like it's just brilliant and just right on nose you know yo i said one pizza this is one pizza it's you told me it was one it's pizza. One, this it, is what I got. It is one pizza? What are you feeding? You said one pizza. No, 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 no. Okay, look. I don't know why this grown man is taking your orders about how much food he can buy, but when he can get around it like that, no, you got to let him slide now. He was clever enough to get one massive pizza when you said one pizza. You got to give the guy his pizza. Okay, the man earned it. Let him eat his pizza. I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh no! Oh no, not that guy. Oh! I will send you to Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay, stop, stop, stop the video, stop. Whoa. Okay, does anybody in the comments below, does anybody. <laughs> Know who that is. I, I've seen him in a few memes now. He's also that dude that did emotional damage. Who is that guy? He's funny as hell. Every time I see him, I want to know who he is. I want to find his channel so I can watch him. The flu kills up to 650,000 people worldwide each year. You weren't scared of it because the media didn't tell you to be. Why, that's just silly. I mean, nobody. That's, come on. We weren't afraid of it just because the media was saying that we have to give 12 shots and wear five masks and stay in our locked in our houses and never go out and the children can't go to school and we can't go to church and we can't go to our people's funerals because if we do, then we'll all die. That didn't scare any of us. 
We were all scared because of science. So, I'm watching your ears right now? All right, now. Hold the side of the screen right here with your hand. All right. This is gonna be some kind of like mental trick. All right, now, floss between your ears. Further, like, move your hands forward. Like this is gonna be some kind of mental yeah, trick, isn't it? Yank that side. <laughs> you know, looking looking back on that right now, I don't know why I didn't expect that to happen. I should have, but I didn't see that one coming. Oh, look at this handsome old bantam. Him is sun tanning today. Sunday morning, Sunday tanning. Love you more than words, mister. <laughs> You know, I know plenty of people who might say, well, this is because this dog is so overbred that they're all just psychotic and want to attack everything. I have a different theory. Mine is that if somebody came up and talked to me that way, even as I am now, I would jump and bite them in the face. What the hell was it? Oh, look at you, Mr. Little Handsome Bo Bantam and Chip Chip Rot. I, I wanted to bite her in the face. I don't know, does this kind of prove that rat dogs are actually halfway intelligent? That's a new one. No, I, oh man, I, okay, I, I'm, I'm hoping, well, I'm assuming that that girl is okay or this video wouldn't be online the way it is now, but I've never seen anybody twist that way before. Thank goodness she's a kid. You know, if you're going to take gymnastics, it, it's fine if you're a kid because kids bounce. They just, they're made out of rubber and that kind of thing can happen and they'll just be like, oops, no, no big deal. You tried to do that at my age and you would fall into a million pieces. Oh, don't move it, so... Oh, out on the game. No, this is dumb. <laughs> no, no, go for the guy first. Nice one first. No, this is dumb. Oh, Jesus! This is dumb. <laughs> dumb! I am seeing this more and more often lately, it, and it's just sad. You know, people take the friend who's never had VR on them before, and it's like, let's just throw him in VR and watch him flip out. Okay, well, consider this. What did your VR kit cost you? Like $1,000? An index cost $1,000? What did that TV cost? Like, what, eight, nine hundred dollars Something like that? And you're gonna take somebody and slap them in VR when you know they're gonna flail about goodbye all that money and hardware? What causes you to make that decision? I'm all about VR, I love it. I'm all about introducing friends to VR, but if you're gonna do it, stick them in a padded room where they can just bounce off the walls and not hurt anything. Please, I'm tired of seeing all this good tech getting busted. Guys, watch out for the waterfall. Fucking conspiracy theorist. Where's your tinfoil hat? There was a waterfall, we'd hear about it on TV, dumbass. Have you noticed this? Have you noticed that even if there is a waterfall, the news is not going to tell you that there's a waterfall? In fact, some of them will even tell you that there's not a waterfall. This is, um, this is happening more and more lately, hasn't it? Little creepy. I watch for the devil. It's a Roll Rose and it come with umbrellas. 2018 and that push Gorilla. <laughs> Don't. You ever had one of those days where you just want to walk down the street and just slap some random bitch upside the head? Don't do that. That's mean. And if you do, film it because it's funny. <laughs> Jesus. Let me. I'm so sorry. Let me just lock the door, please. Just hold on. It's no problem. Nice shorts. Oh, nice ooh. shorts, Josiah. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. my goodness, I'm so sorry. This is embarrassing. Oh. Please forgive me. It's uh, no problem, Josiah. No problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the shorts. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You know, I am glad to see society finally starting to accept the idea that when you're having a conversation or seeing somebody from the top halfway down, there really is no reason for them to be wearing any kind of pants or anything. There's just no purpose in it. Uh, okay. Oh, don't. Why? Oh, damn. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Teach me your secrets, woman. I want to know. I have never in my life been that asleep, ever. There has been no case. I've been to surgery 
And there are still some things that people can do that make me sit up and go, what are you doing? I have never seen anyone that much asleep. That's nuts. I want to learn how to do that. Somebody teach me that. I googled marine animals and I wasn't disappointed. Well, that's our wholesome pick for the day, I think. That's just, that, mm, that is just absolutely adorable. I want, you know, I want about 12 of those. Just march them down the street, all with that gear on. Oh man, that would just, uh, that's adorable. Um, no, 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 oh God. Don't know if you all knew this, but I love to cook. I'm really into cooking and I just found out because I love to boil eggs because I like to make deviled eggs and boiled eggs and all kinds of things with eggs. And there's like, well, how long do you leave it in the water? And how, and how high are you? What's your elevation? Because it's different then. And how much water do you put in? But I found out that you steam them. You don't boil them, you steam them. You steam the eggs, you get perfect boiled eggs, well, boiled eggs every time. And just seeing those eggs go down the drain is... hurts me a little bit right here. It's okay. We're leaving mouses inside. Uh, see, they don't do this job! They don't do it! Bloody trick. Thank you. They... Cats! You have one job! Cats, you have one job. One single job in this world. That's it. That's all you have is one job, and it's to catch little squeakers that are running around. The squeakers in the house, you see them, you catch them, you eat them, you get rid of them. That's your one job. But no, you don't think that's your job. You think that your job is to run around, knock things off the shelves, and break everything glass that's in the house. What are you guys, part of a union or something? We gotta straighten this cat business out. I mean, this, this, something has to be done about this. This is a big problem. Oh, um, nice air. Oh, 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 no. Oh, there it went. Well, you messed up, didn't you? Ah, uh, ouch. That big ouch on that. And you might say, what stupid was it? That was natural stupid. Because a lot of these guys, when they're going to get married, sometimes they'll save up for years, if they're, especially if they're not making much money, just to get a nice ring to present and, and ask if, you know, they'll, uh, will you marry me? And if you're gonna take that valuable thing that you work so hard to get, and you're gonna present it in a place where if you drop it, it's gone forever? That's natural stupid. You're, you're kind of, you're a little bit dumb. <laughs> Jesus. Oh <my> God. <laughs> well, uh, what? Doesn't everybody's toilet do that? Mine? Mine does that every time I flush, especially after I eat Chipotle. <laughs> what? <gasps> Why? <laughs> I have some confusion. Okay, first of all, what, what kind of people out there, and I see more of them all the time, believe that glass will not break? What kind of people are these that think glass is an impenetrable barrier and you can't bust it no matter if you land on it Stomp on it, it won't break. Nope, it's glass. Superman can't even punch through this. And then what kind of people are so rich that once you break that glass, they're sitting there laughing. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha, ha. If that was my car, I would have to go hungry for a couple of months to pay for it, and that person would no longer be my friend. Breakfast in movies. I gotta run. Why did I make all this shit? <laughs> you know, I've wondered about that. It's like, it, it's that way in movies and in TV shows too. You just, th this whole table and it's just filled with food. And the husband will sit down and like take two bites and go, oh, no, I'm, I'm late. I gotta go. And out they go. And what happens to the rest of this? Better question. Why does mom keep making it every morning if dad's just going to take two bites and then run out the door? This comic, I like it. It makes a really good point. We need to think about this from now on. Well, for pandas to be racist because pandas are black and white. You know what I mean? So based on that, I'm switching my gender identity to panda <laughs> because I want everybody to know that I'm not racist. <laughs> and I can have sex with pandas. <laughs> I hadn't, I hadn't until this moment realized um, how, Im how important pandas are to the uh, identity culture out there I um <laughs> maybe 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 more of us should uh, should be pandas 
Uh, this next one, I, I actually picked this one up on purpose because it sounded interesting. It's uh, apparently a professional stuntman uh, just f flying through a bus or something. But um, this is one of those where I'm, I've got to say, look, don't actually try this because it could be dangerous. Damn! You know, part of me actually kind of wants to be a professional stuntman, but when I see stuff like that, it's like, whew, if if you mess that up, you gonna go squish. Then that ain't gonna be good for you at all. Ooh, 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 ooh! Oh! 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 Okay, a couple of thoughts about this. First, thank God that guy's okay. I have no idea how he just pulled out of that like that. It's a damn miracle. And the second thing I have to say is that if you're gonna be a douchebag and drive a motorcycle around like that in traffic, this is what you deserve. All right, I don't hope that this happens to everybody, but if you drive like that and this happens to you, I'm... You're not getting my sympathy because it's just, it's going to happen eventually if you drive like that. Don't do that. Thank God California banned plastic straws. The best move of my entire life was getting out of California when I got out. I am so glad that I'm not there right now. And have you tried those stupid cardboard straws? I hate those things. I hate them. They make the, they, they melt and, and they make the, everything you drink taste like, Cardboard it just it's nasty. Why would anybody use those seems to me California what you ought to be banning is trains <laughs> Why why do those things exist? Why are those there? Why do they exist? Why were they made? Those things are like guaranteed to cause stupid. They're like stupid guaranteed. Hey, do you try to get really drunk and get get artificially stupid and it doesn't work all the time? Well, buy this thing. If you buy this thing, it's going to keep the ground moving out from under you and it guarantees the stupid. I mean, there's really no point to the thing. What do you, you can't get to work on the thing? You're not going to go to the store with it. It's just there so you can stand on it and fall over. That's it. Whoa. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, oh. oh no. And I, I don't, I really don't know because I want to say, well, there goes somebody's expensive drone, but at the same time, I, I have to think, wait a minute. Didn't they have to go and pull it out of the water so they could get the footage or else we wouldn't be seeing it? Or does the footage like beam somewhere and you can capture it? I don't know. Somebody in the comments tell me how drones work. I have no idea. I'm too old. Well, guys, that was your world. I hope you go off. I hope you have a wonderful day at work. Smile a little bit. Laugh a little bit. Keep doing what you do because you're awesome at it. And I'm going to see you again in February. Take care, guys.